Hi friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Lori. This is Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. In today's video, I am going to be pulling some sales, talking to you about more than a couple mistakes I made with some current sales, and sharing with you just four pieces that were thrifted by my good friend Kim for me that retailed for approximately $900. We're gonna really take a deep dive and see what those items are, what their retail value was, and what I expect to get for them on resale. And you're going to meet my new puppy, Lumpy. Let's go back to this morning when I'm pulling some sales and then we'll meet back here to go over the clothes I got. Catch you in a minute. So this first sale that I'm pulling are a pair of Athleta Trekkie pants. And this person got a good deal on these. I listed them for 50. I sent out offers for, I think it was 35 with discounted shipping or 38 with discounted shipping. They're a size 14. They're really nice. They remind me of the Lululemon Studio pants. Um, they countered with a $30 offer. And as I mentioned, I really haven't been listing or sharing. It's It's been a crazy week and I did not list much. So I accepted this $30 offer. Um, so yeah, one sale heading out. I had to dig through this bin a little bit. So I will show a photo of this. I do have a beautiful stock photo. The brand on this is, I think it's called Wondemar. I want to say this was in Northampton on one of my thrift across New England trips. And I saw that it was this really high end cover up or swimsuit brand. Whoops. And I grabbed it. I got it pretty cheap. I want to say it was, you know, around the $5 mark. And I had it listed for $50. This, I believe, has been listed, you know, over nine months, potentially a year. I'll see when I listed it. He accepted a $30 offer. I totally butchered this name. Is it Onda de Mar? <laughs> I don't know. But look at the prices. Two, three eighty dollars for a maxi dress, two fifty dollars for a maxi dress. And I've had this listed for a very long time. This is the resort wear for this website. This would be more of a similar vibe. $250 for linen capsule. Um, and I've had that for a while, so definitely not a hot seller since it only sold for $35. But there were also some issues, which I will talk about a little bit later. Next up was a sale on a pair of Vineyard Vines men's pants that I had listed for $48 and I received a $40 offer on, which was great. They are the breaker pants. Let me see if I can find them. The next sale is this adorable boho shirt that I had picked up recently. Um, this was something I was pretty confident would sell quickly. I got this at Savers. I'm assuming a viewer purchased this. Um, I listed it for $28. I believe it sold or listed for $30 and it sold for $28. I need to see what this was. But this was new with tag. I really loved the style of it. This was definitely a style pickup. It's an extra large and it sold for $25. All right, next up, we have a big bundle. I need to grab this Hampton Bay sweater. I think it was a five-piece bundle. I hope everything is easily accessible. Let me grab that sweater first. Another item from this bundle is this Lori Goldstein blouse. I remember when I purchased this. This is not a blouse or brand, I should say, that I pick up all the time. I had gotten an abundance of Lori Goldstein things in a buyout a couple of years ago, and they just lingered forever. So I'm always hesitant to get Lori Goldstein because I had it so much of it for so long. But then I really love this blouse. I picked this up in Boston at the Goodwill, which is actually where my girlfriend Kim got all the items that I'm going to share with you later in the haul portion of this video. So I was really happy to see this one go. It's really pretty. I love the lace detail here. Also in this bundle are these wool sneakers by the brand DNA, also purchased at that Goodwill in Boston. Um, I had never heard of this brand. When I first saw them, they reminded me of Allbirds because they had this wool fabric, uh, but I thought they were just so nice and the quality was gorgeous. So I came home and looked them over and ran comps and they were pretty decent. So you can see that this was yellow and they were $8. That's how my Goodwill marks their things, whatever the color is. And then the price, so I paid $8 for this. This I believe was like five or $6. All right, I grabbed this to spare you all the crinkling of the plastic. This is another piece by Lori Goldstein. This is Logo Lounge. This is like a dusty pink, asymmetrical 
tunic t-shirt. This was also part of that bundle. What I'm finding right now, because I've been hunting in between, is there was an old navy dress that was part of this bundle that I cannot find, and I'm concerned it sold and I didn't mark it sold, which is always so complicated with a bundle with Poshmark because Poshmark is all or nothing. You can't give partial refunds. So I will have to reach out to my buyer and if they don't want to choose something else, this whole order may have to be canceled, which would be really lousy because it's a, it's a wonderful sale and she got some really beautiful items. So I'm going to keep hunting for the dress and finish pulling and then I'll reach out to my buyer if I can't find that dress and offer a substitute. All right, and the last piece of this bundle was this jacket that I also picked up at Boston at a thrift store I had never been to. Um, this was a day where I went to like three stores with Kim. That was a really successful day. I just really loved this. This is not a brand I pick up, Cartonnier. This is an anthropology brand that often sits for me, but I loved this piece. And I loved the patches on the elbows. I loved the polka dots. It was also a size large, just in really nice condition. And I think I only paid $5 for it. So I was willing to take a chance on this. Really beautiful quality and in beautiful condition. So I listed that for $45 and that was part of the bundle as well. So I found most of the pieces, but still no luck with the old navy dress. So if I can make a substitution for my buyer and send this out, this bundle sold for $156. The dress in question was listed for $25, so I'm hoping my buyer finds something else that she would like. I'll have to go and search her bundle and any of the items that she's liked in my closet. Typically, when the error is on my part, I will give my buyer a higher value item um, to replace what um, I didn't have in stock. So fingers crossed that this works out for us um, because this is a really nice sale and a beautiful bundle that I would love to ship out. Okay, so my fear is a reality. <laughs> this black Old Navy dress sold on eBay and it sold in January and I never removed the listing. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to message my buyer because this is no longer in my possession. So add that to my list of flops for the week. So luckily I have the best viewers uh, and my friend Stephanie who purchased this bundle. Um, I reached out to her and I explained the situation. It turns out that I had sold the black dress on eBay and never removed it from my inventory. So she was so understanding and she chose a Victoria's Secret sweatshirt instead. I told her she could pick something of a little bit of a higher value. I'm not even sure what this was priced at, but I just ran downstairs to see that I could find it first before I said yes or no. Obviously, I'm going to say yes if I have it, but let's look in this bin where it's supposed to be. Make sure it's here. And then we have one crisis averted. All right, I had to do a little digging, but this is the sweatshirt she's talking about. This was actually mine. This is a great sweatshirt. I think it just got a little snug on me, but it has this great back, this boat neck. It's kind of like a sexy, slouchy back black sweatshirt. So, phew. Okay, so I'm going to put her bundle together and ship this out. Thank you so much, Stephanie. So I was doing a little bit of research on what happened with this Old Navy dress. And what happened was I said, I indicated that it sold on Poshmark, which was why it was marked as sold um, on Vendu, but it never actually delisted it. It delisted it on eBay, but it actually sold on eBay. But I wrote the wrong marketplace. So you can go in and edit things after a sale. So I'm just gonna edit that this actually sold on eBay, sold for $20 on 125. So I'm gonna save the details and now it's not listed on Poshmark anymore. So I'm packaging up everything here. Everything's good to go. This is the replacement piece and we are ready. The puppy's sleeping. That's his domain over there. Okay, let's get these shipped out before he wakes up. My lighting is kind of funky here. These days, it's all about just getting things done. You know, it's been hard for me to check the boxes lately. My good friend Kim, who goes to the bins with me all the time, was kind enough to do some shopping for me and I didn't even know she was doing it, sorry. My ring light that's typically over here is upstairs and not working, so I'm just using this one little ring light. 
Also, my apologies for the Fitbit in the background that's blinking. I did not see it until I went to edit. I'm so sorry. The puppy is sleeping, so I thought I would do this really quick haul and just discuss some of these incredible pieces my friend bought, what they're worth retail value, and what I expect to get for them on resale. My friend Kim, it was the day of my dad's wake, and she checked in with me and she's like, I had a doctor's appointment in Boston and I couldn't resist going to our favorite location, uh, which is on Calm Ave in Boston. She went into Goodwill and she went to the boutique section where they kind of mark things up, but they always have really quality pieces there and she got me a pair of mother jeans a smart wool sweater a margaret o'leary sweater and a free people sweater the goodwill price on these items was 45 dollars the retail is approximately 900 dollars but what do we expect to get for them on resale? Um, I did a video recently about a few pieces that I picked up at Savers, and I just find it fascinating, retail versus resale, things we get excited about, things that hold their value or don't hold their value. So I just wanted to talk about these four items. I have not had a chance to go thrifting myself, and so Kim's message to me on this day was just a little light um, in my day, on a very sad day. She found some really great pieces, I'm gonna start with this piece from Margaret O'Leary. Um, this is a piece that I don't know how many pieces from this designer I've actually sold. I'll have to look, um, but this is what the tag looks like. It looks a little like the knitted and knotted tag from um, Anthropology, but it's a little bit more substantial. This almost looks like mother of pearl. It's beautiful. This is a cashmere sweater and it's on their current website. And Kim was like, oh my God, I did some research and it's on their website. Do you know what the retail of this is on their current website? $380 for this sweater. Like who donates this stuff? Who donates it? So this was in the boutique section. Kim paid $9.99 for this. It's really adorable. This is called their baseball sweater. And it's got this little heart right here. I don't know if you can see it. Again, sorry for the weird lighting right now, but it's the soft yellow um, with like a creamy yellow colored. Maybe if I come back a little bit, you'll be able to see it better. And it is in flawless condition. I mean, it doesn't look like it's ever been laundered. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. Kim looked it up and down. She did not see any moth holes. I have not seen any moth holes. It is gorgeous. $380 on their current website. Now, when I plugged in Margaret O'Leary, uh, baseball sweater only one item came up and sold and it was only I think $40 it sold for uh, I will not be listing this that low I will probably list this because it's on their current website or probably list it for about $149 and we'll go from there and see how it does it may sit for a very long time I didn't see many comps on this maybe because it is on their website but it's amazing to me the things you can find at Goodwill so $9.99 for a $380 sweater I'll come in close so you can see some of the detail here and it's really beautiful. And one more time on the tag, there it is, Margaret O'Leary. You can see right here, Kim paid $9.99. Um, and it's really pretty. It's got almost like a raw edge that just kind of rolls up. It's a very casual, beautiful sweater. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, 100% cashmere. I mean, this tag is brand new crazy so gorgeous we're gonna move into something next that this is probably the lowest value item and this was the only thing that i had to estimate the original price on this um, and i estimated like 149 which i think is right on the money because you know free people's retail is so expensive if you were to google free people sweaters right now and went to their website you'd see the type of prices they range anywhere from like 128 all the way up to like over 200 dollars for their sweaters but you can often find free people at places like tj maxx now for a fraction of the price but there are some of those pieces that still really hold their value i don't know that this is one of those pieces Kim paid $9.99 for this. It's a size medium. Here's the tag. Um, and it's this beautiful crocheted, very boho as most free people things are. A little bit of a bell sleeve cropped style here and open knit. It's a wool blend. It has some polyester, some acrylic, some wool, some nylon. 
and I could not find, I found other listings. I, I saw a sold listing for this for $36. This I probably would not have picked up for $10. Maybe I would pick this up for $5 in hopes to sell it for like 40-ish, but I'll probably list it around $45 and hope to sell it around that $36 mark. Maybe I'll even list it at like 49, cause you never know, there aren't many listed and it's really cute. It almost has tiny little flecks of metallic yarn and then shades of yellow and cream. Actually, the colors complement this very well, and I don't know if you'll be able to appreciate that with this poor lighting, but the condition of this is beautiful. I love the three buttons at the top. It's oversized, it's cropped. I, I do think it's a very relevant style right now. Next, I'm going to move into, she was so excited about these and with good reason. She found mother jeans. The beautiful thing about mother jeans is the style is always on the inside pocket, as far as I know. It's usually I go right to the inside pocket and everything you need to know is there. These are the Mother High-Waisted Rascal Ankle Fray, and the color is called Blackbird. They give you all the information you need right there on the inside pocket, which is just so helpful when you're looking up comps. So there were two prices on these jeans. One was for $198, I think at Nordstrom. And then I saw, I don't know if it was on Revolve or whatever, but $218, so give or take. There were two sets of comps that I got. Literally the comps on these jeans, I wanna say ranged from $18 for like a shade of black, this style mother jean, all the way up to $140 for pre-owned. So huge, huge range here. Um, I might start these at 129 or 99 I'm not I'm not really sure they're a size 26 um, I think 99 would be a fair listing for these because it's about 50% off what the lower retail price was so if these were 198 and I priced them at 99 dollars and then I sold them up to 30% off I would sell them for 70. I think that's fair for mother jeans it's just a matter of who's looking for these I do love the ankle um, they are a skinny jean, which isn't like the most on trend right now. However, I think a lot of people are holding on to their skinny jeans regardless of trend. And the comps were really good on some of these. A lot of the comps that I saw that were over $100 were from boutiques. So they were um, new with tag and that justified the price. But there was one pre-owned that uh, sold comp on Poshmark was $140. So she really picked some incredible pieces. Um, and the price on these at Goodwill was $13.99. So a little bit pricier. So I will definitely want to get more on my return for these. But you know, sometimes you make a little bit more of an investment to get more of a return. Like the Margaret O'Leary for $10, it's a $380 current piece. I will say on the Margaret O'Leary, just to backtrack a little bit, if I go to their website, they have almost like a celery colored uh, sweater. So it's almost more hints of green and this is more yellow. So I don't know if this is like a past season, but regardless, it's like brand new. So that is a really incredible piece. And I found that once before I had a Club Monaco piece, which isn't historically a hot seller for me, but it was again on their current website. So anybody who is brand loyal and they're looking for like what's available now, all of a sudden, if you mark something 50 to 60% off retail, it's not the type of place that has these phenomenal sales, at least not right now on their website. They are currently listed at $380. Um, that could be something that somebody's searching for and then they come and buy. And that happened to me with a Club Monaco sweater that I got at the bins in Boston when the bins were open in Boston. They haven't been open since COVID to my knowledge. I might take that approach with this listed high give it a little bit of time just because it's a, uh, on their website and go from there. Lastly, she found this beautiful smart wool sweater and this was, I think $12.99. Let me just look at the price here. Yes, $12.99 and there's the smart wool label. But what Kim didn't realize until she got home was that this baby was new with tag. And then she was even more excited. Like we get excited about smart wool regardless. And then you add new with tag to that listing and it's wow. So this is also handy because it gives me the style. And this is the Dacono, D-A-C-O-N-O, full zip in black. 
Um, this too had a range of listings, but the original price from what I could see on the REI website uh, and maybe the Smartwool website, like if I went to their website, this is from July of 2017. It says it right on the tag. So it's a little bit of an older style, but it's new with tag, no moth holes that either one of us could see. It's in beautiful, pristine condition. So $170. Again, the comps on this all over the place, but most of these were listed around that 85 to 89, I would say 75 to $95. That was a very common price point for pre-owned. And then the sold comps, similar to the mother jeans, there was a wide range. Um, because this is new with tag, I might, I might do that 99 again. Well, maybe even 119, considering so many were pre-owned, but we are heading out of winter, but this is a beautiful piece and I would be willing to sit on this for a little time if I had to carry it into the winter, although I am kind of in purge mode, but this is a no brainer. Um, this would have been a definite pickup for me. So Kim and I thrift together all the time and she knows the brands that I like and get excited about. And because I haven't had the chance to go thrifting lately, um, I thought it was so sweet of her to think of me. Um, this does look like it might be an older label on mother. I'm just thinking I'm not, too up to speed on mother, but I think that is an older label, um, but the comps were still there for this style. So crazy, so 198 or 218, depending on which site you went to, 170 for this, I'm estimating about 148 for this, and $380 for this sweater. So four pieces, retail value close to $900, but what I'll actually get for them, I'm guessing, let's guess, like let's say 80 and 80, and that's being pretty conservative, I think. So 160, maybe 70 on these, so that would be 230, and probably uh, about 35 or 40 on this. Say 40, that would be 270. I gave Kim $70. Um, so maybe I will profit $200, but then we have to do fees off of that. So you can see how, you know, we'll chip away at the profit, but still four amazing pieces. Because I only had four items, I wanted to take my time and really go through each piece with you and share with you my thoughts on, you know, comps and what I think I can get for them. But always so exciting to see some fantastic thrifted items. And I can't wait, Kim, till we're out there thrifting again. I don't think I've been to the bins this year. It's March 27th. This is like unheard of for me to go three months without going to the Goodwill outlet. I'm hoping to get there very soon, but of course, now I have my puppy who I can't wait to introduce to you. He's napping right now, so I had to press record. I started this video this morning at about seven in the morning, and it is now 6.30 p.m. I had hoped to upload it tonight on what day? It's Monday the 27th. I don't think it's going to go up until tomorrow. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the shipping fiasco that happened today. Um, so as I was pulling things, there was that pair of Vineyard Vine pants. Uh, I did in fact give those to Rocco while he was home for my dad's funeral or when he was here for spring break. And I just never took it off of the website. So of course he takes it like literally a week and a half ago and boom, it's sold. I already messaged my buyer. I apologized and I offered a 30% discount on anything in my store should he or she want to purchase anything else. Those were listed at $48 and um, they sold for $40. So that was one. The second thing I talked a little bit about already, that was Stephanie who was so understanding. Not only was she so understanding that I didn't have the Old Navy dress, but I had also received the reminder today that it needed to be shipped out because I think that sale came through on the day of the wake or the funeral for my dad. So I was just, you know, I was having, I was trying to get some shipping out, but there was only so much I could do each day. So thank you so much, Stephanie, if you happen to be watching this for being so very understanding. And then the white cover up that I was talking about, that sold for $35. I sold, I thought it sold for 30, it sold for $35, but because I had had it for so long, I took it out of the package to give it a once over and I noticed a stain that wasn't disclosed when I held it up to the light. So I'm gonna bleach that 
and reach out to my buyer if it doesn't come out. Um, but I'm, I'm working on that right now, so I don't have results on that. But man, oh man, it's very apparent to me when something's going on in my life because I had three pretty big errors today. I mean, the, the, the cover up, that I guess could have happened way back when. I looked it up and down and there was a small spot on it that I disclosed, but then these were faint and I couldn't see them until I held them up to the light. I don't know how I missed them the first time. The Old Navy dress sold in January on eBay and I just never removed it from my inventory. And then the, the pants, yeah, same thing. I know Vendu is working on it. One of these days, I pray that it will be automatically taken off the site when they have the technology to do that. It's just not there just yet. Uh, so you still have to manually delist from one platform, but then it automatically delists from all the other platforms you have it listed on. But you do have to do that initial delist. So um, I missed those. But anyways, that is all for the haul portion and the sales for today. And now it's time to meet. Lumpy. He is such a sweetheart. We were able to get him the day after my dad's funeral. We named him after my dad. Uh, my dad's nickname in the 70s was Lumpy and 70s and 80s and we had Lucky and we had Lulu so Lumpy seemed very appropriate for this little man. He is a light right now. I forget what it's like to have a puppy but I will say I haven't had a puppy in 13 years. It's very different having a puppy in a quiet home as opposed to when I had Lucky and Lulu and three little kids running around. He's sleeping a lot. I have him on a schedule already. I'm feeding him three times a day, you know, 20 minutes and then take the bowl away. I mean, he's so good. He's learning so fast. Today's Monday, so I've only had him since Friday. We dropped Rocco off at college. He slept almost the whole three hours and 40 minutes up to Maine and he did amazing on the way back. He's just been such a love, but busy. Let's go meet him. If you guys are having a good time and you feel like hitting that thumbs up button, that would be so great. I would appreciate it so much. And if you wanna join my YouTube community, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. If you wanna be notified when I release videos, you'll get an email. All right, let's go see this puppy. Okay, so this is Lumpy. <laughs> Say hello, Lumpy. Oh. Oh, freshy, freshy, frushy. Where are you going? You want me to hold you? You say hi to my friends. They want to get to know you. Oh, you are precious. So this is my little man. He's seven and a half weeks old. He's a cockapoo, cocker spaniel and poodle. He's getting a little sleepy right now. It's almost time for his nap and he, he can sleep anywhere. Um, right? Right. Let's see if you can go in your crate. You do some night nights. Okay. And this is what he looks like when I put him down for a nap. Get that nose in there. You do it. It's okay. Can you lay down? He's been really good about his crate. Hope he doesn't make a liar out of me now. Good boy. Go take a nap. Oh, look at what a sweet boy he is. What a good boy you are, Lumpy. Yeah. It's like it took me three kids and now my third dog to learn how to give them some structure that they need. Yes, you do good in your crate when you're tired, don't you? Don't you? Okay, mommy's gonna go film a little bit, all right? I just wanted you to meet everybody because you're such a sweet boy. You're such a sweet boy. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Night, night. That's all for today's video. Be prepared for. <laughs> lots of lumpy content this guy has made me so happy he's very busy and he's very very sweet as soon as i train him to help me with shipping you'll see him downstairs but he's just a little biscuit right now and he hasn't really ventured <laughs> you're tired from your nap say bye let's do a little lumpy close-up lumpy close-up yay it's a bright light huh I love you, little poochie. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Say bye, Lumpy. Bye. Where are you going? Oh, my goodness. <laughs>